I'm Sammy. I'm a first year. Um, so kind of figuring out whether I want to major in creative writing or possibly minor. Um, but I've been taking a poetry class this quarter um, and I've written some stuff that I'm kind of excited about um, and wanted to share. And also I'm kind of putting together potentially like a chapbook to eventually <laughs> be published, you know, sometime in the future. So that's kind of what this is going towards. Um, and I guess I'll just get started. Um, the first one is called Anthropology. Oh, and content warning for, I like just mentions of like drug use and like <laughs> sexual stuff, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, so if that bothers anyone, feel free to just mute me. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is called Anthropology. Um, we're in your apartment. There are clothes and books and pill bottles everywhere, acetaminophen, fluoxetine, dextroamphetamine. Sorry about the mess, you say. I shrug and drop my coat on the floor. I catch a strong whiff of the bud as you grind it up. Your hands twist expertly, big and swift and pale. You have this wild look in your eyes, your pupils big like spiders. A tarantula scuttles across your forearm. Can I touch it, I ask? And you say yes, and so I do and it is as soft and hairy as the real thing. You say something funny, and I, mid-pull, chortle and cough clouds of white, lung killer. I wonder if this is how the elephant tied to the hot air balloon feels, floating, never going anywhere. You're studying anthropology. I'm in love with people who are in love with people. A million-year-old fossil boy lies near your armpit, the most complete early human ever found. I touch him too and imagine those ancient brittle bones, his skin, just like your skin, a million years ago, his skin, a million years ago. When you kiss me, it is warm and bitter. I am not nearly high enough. I suck on your tongue like a spear of rock candy. I don't think you're very attractive. Mostly I wish you had shaved. I run my fingertips up and down your broad back. I feel the rough hair through the fabric of your shirt. Your heavy hand slides around my neck your hand, like his hand, his hand a million years ago. They never found the bones of his hand, I think because they were too small. Okay, um, and then the next one is called Ecosystem. It's a little shorter um, and I was playing with repetition a little bit, so it's kind of not in my usual style. But anyway, yes, <laughs> Ecosystem. On the mountain, the lichen find north, on the mountain, I am a druid smoking agate. On the hollow mountain, my ex-girlfriend is baking bread, sourdough, like we ate in San Francisco. In the desert, the thunderstorms evaporate. In the desert, I am a tiny bird gift. In the dusty desert, the pavement is a compass bringing mechanical monsters to dead ends. In the sea, the electricity is cold. In the sea, I am an emergency. In the forever sea, the volcanoes spit bubbles like tiny blue bones while Ezra plays guitar. Um, so the next one is another kind of short one. Um, it's called Landscape. And this is also for my poetry class. And it was based on a haiku that I'd written. And then the assignment was to kind of like expand out from there. So um, stylistically, it's a lot of it is kind of like um, reminiscent of a haiku. Okay, Landscape. Bone white moon. Frog disappears down the night heron's gullet. Soft splash of red rubber rain boots in the marsh water. Homey hint of rot in the humid, heavy air. Who goes there? Like eggshells underfoot, like marrow on the tongue, like winter in the hand. Heartbroken wind, mosquito fat with blood, flees the hunting bat. Um, okay, and then the next one is called Nocturne, um, and it, the assignment was to borrow some lines from other poems, so I thought I should credit them. The poem, the lines, the poems I borrowed lines from for this poem are Marie Makes Fun of Me at the Seashore by Bernadette Mayer, Morning Song by Sylvia Plath, and A Story About the Body by Robert Hass. Um, Nocturne. Look. Tiny red spiders are walking across the ceiling. I cannot sleep. The teddy bear I won for you from a claw machine slumps in the corner looking concerned. 
I close my eyes and they are still there, the spiders, walking in their neat red line across the backs of my eyelids, glowing like the morning sun, just after you've woken up and just before you've opened your eyes. Where are they going, I ask you, but you are asleep and all night your moth breath flickers among dark distant pine forests, ever seeking a kindly moon. If I scoop the moon up from the surface of the sea and carry it home in my pocket, will you come back to me? But of course you will not. You are still sleeping. And when I reach into my pocket, I find it not full of moonlight, but of dead bees. Um, okay. So then the next one is called Cannibal. And it's a little bit of a weird one, but I like it. Um, cannibal. Did you know dragons can speak? They say nasty things about us when we're not around. I heard they can read those big iron church bells we made and then forgot about. Smells like chlorine, smells like kindergarten, smells like saltwater taffy. Tchaikovsky in the kitchen. Whatever he's composing, it's filling the house with thunderstorms. God is drinking hot cocoa from a brown coffee cup. God is sipping algae right out of the Mediterranean Sea. I'll tell you a secret. Spiders don't move on their own. There is always someone pulling the strings. Once I split a man from sternum to groin and ate his guts with my chopsticks like thick sticky udon and he slept with me anyway. He was pretty like tea cakes, pumpkin eyes, wet honey clay, pretty like silver necklace, sea glass scar, Polaroid tissue, pretty like artery hand mirror, tall river tree. Did you know that fish food is made of other fish? Well, yes, but turtle food is not made of other turtles. Um, okay, and then the next one is the oldest one, and I wrote it a long time ago, wrote it in high school, <laughs> and it's been revised since then. I submitted it to Sliced Bread, and it was accepted for a publication there, so you might see it there. Um, it's called Hunger. Hunger, part one, herbalist. She arises from austere and bucolic daydreams as though they were the sea, far away on the shores of Iara, where she tends the serpents and the stepsons. Says she, they call me witch and I smile and they fear me. They call me witch and I smile and fill my pocket with rose petals and the laughter of their children. She flees into the arms of antiquity, a thousand mothers gone, and she loves thee, she loves thee ferociously. In her dreams, the wolves take their tea by candlelight, golden before the world knew the Polaroid. In her dreams, birds fall from the sky in the exact places where skyscrapers will someday be. Says she, I hurt and I heal and it is not enough. I am hungry for a world gone by, hungry for a world yet to come, hungry for beauty I cannot hope to swallow. Part two, Hunter. She drowns in Ceres, but always awakes again, sinks through to the bottom and emerges in a new world every time. Says she, the holy beast has teeth, is covered in them, yellow and cratered, dripping pink with the flesh, an eternity of gums. The beast that waits, the beast pale on its haunches, the beast with a million smiles unspeakably wide, a million stomachs eternally empty. The beast of a world gone by, the beast of a world yet to come. In its dreams, the darkness smells like blood. She approaches it weeping, pointing to the rank scraps of meat between its teeth, crying, that's my dog, you ate my dog. Says the beast, darling, I am your dog, and howls a howl to tear the sky to pieces. Um, so then my last one, <laughs> as I approach 10 minutes, is uh, really new. I just wrote it like yesterday, pretty much. So um, yeah, trying it out. Um, it's called Oil on Canvas. Oil on Canvas. My body emerges from yours, like Venus from the waves. In the dark window glass, we are phantoms, vague and trembling, Edwardian angels. In the mirror, we are made of clay. The sweat runs off our bodies like sheets of rain off the hard desert earth. As I come, I think about cities and ashes, the bombs, the dust, tiny corpses in the rubble. You hold my head against your chest like a Madonna and child. When you ask me what I'm thinking about, are you hoping I'll say God or water or springtime, perhaps art, poetry, history, war? And when I tell you I'm just thinking about how warm I am, do you believe it? Does it matter? Mascara on your nose like over dark freckles. In your eyes, I am pre-Raphaelite. Sometimes I look at my legs and see some spiders spinning webs on my shins. Flesh is flesh is flesh, but sometimes gold is not gold. The tips of her fingers tasted like yours.
As you walk me home, I stare at the junk on the grass by the sidewalk and wish this was a poem about falling out of love instead of one about remembering. Oh, muddied evangelical pamphlet, oh, empty cigarette box, the night is lonely like a hopper. Oh, fast food wrapper, oh, dried up avocado peel, what is there to say to someone you don't love? Thank you. <laughs>